All right, uh, I wanted to give my bit on some comments that I've seen uh, happen uh, to be that where Emic was addressing in terms of building one's own machine, and I've received some comments on that, and uh, I also wanted to address them here uh, in this video. And I apologize for the the video quality of I'm trying to understand this whole. Uh, iMovie capture thing because I usually use my G5 uh, for video capture so again this is unedited I'm not going to deal with it just going to put it straight into uh, iMovie and, and go from there um, alright anyway um, the update that I gave was on my X800 XT that's still being RMA uh, ATI acknowledges that there is some sort of defective problem with that card and um, I happen to have the exact part number that happened to be defective so that's my luck on that okay as far as this whole hardware issue in that an argument to be used that hey I can build my own PC and that means my PC is better than a Mac even though a Mac is a PC but setting that argument aside uh, to build one's machine makes, I guess, that machine better, or, or the whole concept of it better. Um, now, what I was going to say to that is that if we're going to define it as PCs and Macs, okay, the PC, there, the PC users or, or any users for just personal computers, including Macs, are divided at least for this for this purpose into two groups: those that prefer to build their own machines and those that use OEMs. Okay. Apple being an OEM. Now, uh, it just so happens that because of the way the computer markets have gone, that it has created a demographic where a requirement was made of many to say, hey, if I want to fix my machine cheaply, I better know how to do it myself. And that completely ignores the concept of the computer of being a tool where in many regards with other products most people don't know the inner workings and buy warranties like you do with Apple or any other OEM and try to have a headache free environment and getting it fixed but um, this is supposed to be a great argument that hey I can build my own machine even though the, the result of that knowledge is because the computer markets even though the original intent wasn't to be that way as the way I understand it, the original intent was that each hardware manufacturer is going to make their own hardware and have their own hardware and, and have their own software set. Similar to like exactly what Apple has, their own hardware and software. And no one was really meant to tinker with it. And, and they would fix it if, if there was some sort of problem. But for, the, for, for those that prefer OEMs or of the mindset of a user that say, the computer is my tool to get my reports out, my animation renderings completed, all this other stuff. I do not want to be hassled with trying to fix it or understand the inner workings. That's not what I'm using the computer for. The computer is supposed to make my life easier. So, but then there is the campus says, "Hey, I know how. I know how to build. I know how to build my own uh, rig, and, and thus it's all better and everything." Well, I have plenty of it showing my gaming rig, and I know how to build my own uh, PCs. And for my personal use, I will. I do not own, or let's put it this way. I do not trust any other OEM vendor other than Apple for my own personal computer. If I go with a Windows machine or a Linux machine, the hardware is of, of, of my own doing. I will put it together myself and configure it myself. Now, that's great for you guys out there that know how to build your own computers and, and more power to you. I just, don't, I just think the argument is fallacious to say that I know how to build it and therefore it's all better and everything. Now, um, I, I, Emic was talking about gamers and that uh, no respectable gamer uh, would not know how to build their own computer. I mean, I think that's also fallacious and that I, I know plenty of gamers, at least that are my friends, <laughs> that kick my ass in, in, in regards to gaming and they don't know how to build their own machines. And some of them buy their own OEMs, others. Uh, will will um, ask me to build them a rig, but for the most part, you know they 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 don't know the inner, wor inner workings of it, and um, they game very well. Now, um, 
I think the other comment was, well, Mac users don't know how to you know mess with their own computers or build their own their, their build their own Macs. I guess you would say. That's also fallacious. While I will say that the target market of a Mac is not that user that wants to deal with it. Remember, they're an OEM. The OEM user wants a computer as a tool to do what it is designed to do for them, whether they pick it for accounting, animation, whatever, and do it well uh, to an expected performance level without having to understand the whole inner workings of everything just to get it fixed cheaply or, or, or whatever. Now, um, this doesn't have to do with like upgrading RAM because I, I think uh, all uh, well, some vendors make it easy for you to do it. I know Apple is, is, is pretty straightforward on upgrading RAM and things like that on a lot of its boxes. But um, this user was stating that oh, uh, you know, Mac users just don't know how to build their own PCs. Well, I will just tell you, search on a keyword called Frankintosh and you will find an entire Mac community out there that does nothing but rip their Macs apart and upgrade them. I mean, we're talking from the processors on up. I myself do that. I love to take Power Mac G4s, rip them apart, upgrade them to like dual processors, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of things. I mean, the, the whole ATI debacle that I have in my G5 is a result of myself messing with the video card and, and, and you know, having to deal with a, uh, a third-party um, product and that's some things that I've ran into with with my with my gaming rig when the part goes out I mean it's not as easy uh, as it is to just bring like my uh, Mac in uh, to get it repaired like I've had this this very MacBook super drive go out and I brought it, I brought it in it was hassle free very very it was done very quickly and I mean it was a great experience and and um, I've had another great experience like that with with uh, IBM I think they did it they did a great job um, other than that, though, I, I, a lot of these arguments that are coming up are completely fallacious. Uh, there are plenty of Mac users that know how to rip apart Macs and um, build their own Power Mac G4s or G5s, what have you, or buy the cube and, and, and pump it up, whatever, whatever they're going to uh, do with it. Um, and going back to the original argument, I just think it's, while it's great that it, a lot of people have the knowledge to build their own, that it is not such a great argument to use to say one is better than the other. Uh, I think the knowledge and the demographic of those that know how to build their PCs is uh, as a result of, of where certain vendors that were early on where reliability was into question and a lot of compatibility was into question that many were forced into that situation. Um, so, I'll leave it at that, and again, I apologize for the video quality and this whole setup, trying to, uh, I'm used to editing and all this other stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching.